Hey, Life Groups, welcome to week seven with a character that so many of us have come to love in the biblical story, Elijah. And we could spend weeks and weeks studying the ministry and person of Elijah, even as his spirit that's referenced so many times in the scripture spans so many books of the Bible. Elijah is definitely this forerunner of Jesus, but also referenced on the other side of the gospels. So tonight, we're just gonna take a, a, a look at just one aspect of Elijah's story, which is in 1 Kings chapter 18. And it is one of the greatest showdowns in the entire biblical story of when Elijah in faith, knowing the spirit that God had given him, was bold enough to go against King Ahab and Queen Jezebel in the showdown of, of the centuries their prophets against him, their prophets and their prophets' gods against he and his God. And many of us know the story, but I, I, won't, I won't spoil it tonight. You read through it, read through the narrative. It reads like a drama, but it's so important for us to recognize that it's by his spirit, by the spirit of the Lord, by the spirit of Jesus, that we get our strength, not by our own power, nor by our own might. Right, And so as we lean in, may we see pictures in this whole story of our lives that are relatable. Now, most of you have probably never had to face down a king, let alone his, his upwards of 800 prophets. But maybe you had, have had to face down something that you feel like is immovable. And again, many of us try to see ourselves in there as Elijah, but I think we need to recognize that we need to see ourselves as the outsiders looking in to Elijah and Jesus and the people that have gone before us to fight our battles. So Elijah is this forerunner of Jesus and Jesus is the one, his spirit's the one that comes faithfully through for Elijah, but not only him, but for us. And so as we look to our circumstances this week, as we share maybe in a bit of vulnerability, some of the things that have really wrecked our souls recently, or even the past years of our lives, or maybe something that we know is coming on the forefront, how do we turn them over to the Lord? To say, God, we're going to step out in obedience, but we're going to trust that you are going to show up. And one of these, one of these situations um, could play out in a, in a space that that we really need to lean on the Lord in practical, tangible ways with our prayers, but also with our actions. And there's a pastor, his name's Mark Batterson, and he has a quote that I, I cling to quite often, that we are to pray like it depends on God, but work like it depends on us. And that, that is so important for us. And I think we can see that in the story of Elijah, that he engaged the Lord here on earth with his actions, but also in heaven with his prayers. And so may we be like Elijah, leaning on the Spirit of God, leaning in to know that he is faithful, to be able to press against a culture that might be trying to wage war against us. And it's so important to recognize that our battle is not with flesh and blood, but with the spirits and principalities that we can't see. And so as we pray, as we pray and as we lean in and as we work for God, we got to know that. And that was what Elijah knew in his entire life in his ministry as he was faithful as he knew not only was the battle with the people that are in front of him, but he knew there was something else going on that he, depended on his prayerfulness, his reliance upon God. And it gave him the power that the whole Bible references from almost beginning to end the person of Elijah. So may we lean into that as groups. May our discussion be just I just pray it's so fruitful as we recognize how Jesus can show up in such practical ways in our lives as we call upon his name and lean into him. Because as we're talking about building character, the greatest character that he can develop in us is a reliance and a desperation for him. And so may that be where our conversation goes tonight. What does it look like to be desperate for him, be prayerful for his kingdom to come, and be faithful with our actions and our obedience? Have a great discussion and we'll see you next week.